channel. So for today's video, as you can see by the title, I am going to be doing a Christmas catfish get ready with me. I've got on some very Christmassy makeup here, I've got on some beautiful new nails, and I am going to be showing you how, how I achieve this look. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, please smash a huge thumbs up. And other than that, let's get straight on into it. The first thing that I've done for my Christmas get ready with me is my nails, and how pretty do they look? The nails that I have on are the Impress Press On Manicure Nails, and I've got these beautiful pastel pink ones with a little glitter accent. These basically achieve a one step gel manicure within minutes, like look at my nails. The new generation of these nails actually feature a super hold dual layer adhesive which delivers double benefits with two layers of adhesion, one for the artificial nail and then one for the natural nail which allows optimal wear. They are literally ready to use, peel and apply, they don't require any glue and then it's literally just hassle free removal. You get no nail damage and each pack contains 30 different nails, 6 accent nails, a prep pad and a mini file. These nails are £7.99 a pack and you can purchase them exclusively at super drug I literally love them so much I've actually used these nails before and spoke about them in many videos because they are so good I'm gonna show you how to pop them on because I just popped these on before this video and I filmed it for you the first thing you want to do is find the correct size nail I'll just play around with them I will see which one fits each nail best and then I'll set them aside in order and for the best results you want to use smaller sizes and then I just use the prep pad which is inside the packet to cleanse my natural nails and then I peel off the backing and align the nail with my cuticle and then you just want to press it down firmly in the middle and then on each side of the nail. You want to apply them so the tab lines up with the cuticle and you want to make sure that you apply them on completely natural nails and apply the thumbnails last. They do many different designs that you can choose from and I just love them so much. I think they're so pretty and now I can move on to my makeup. Now I actually have nice nails. I look so pale right now. I cannot wait to have some foundation on my face. Honestly, you know when you have those mornings where you wake up and you just look in the mirror and you think yeah I want makeup on today. Today is that day so I'm going to start off with my foundation. I'm going to be using a mixture of two. I've got my NARS Sheer Glow and I've got my LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. I always have to mix. I just don't really like wearing just one foundation just because I haven't really found one that does everything that I want it to do. So I pour a little bit of this NARS one on the back of my hand and then I'll put a pump of the LA Girl one on top and then I will just mix it around with my finger and then I can start to just dot it onto my face and these two mixed together give me some fab coverage because of how pale I am I am gonna go just a little bit I'll put it in my eyebrow okay well I'm gonna have to fix my eyebrow now because I just realized I actually put foundation on it <laughs> love that for me I then just take my beauty blender and I'm just going to bounce this all into my face just to give me a really smooth base to work on but as you can see as I blend this all the redness in my skin just disappears I feel like I don't even need concealer because of how much coverage this foundation has given me but I'm going to use a little bit anyway I'm going to use some of my LA Girl Pro concealer this is my new one my old one recently ran out so I'm just going to pop this on this is very very light for me so even though I am looking quite pale already I actually wish I did use a darker concealer today this concealer gives me so much coverage and it really does highlight the points of my face where I put it on like, as you can see my chin now looks lighter this is a really good concealer if you have quite nasty and vigorous spots on your face because this gives such high coverage I also tend to use this concealer as a eyelid primer I really could not be any paler right now which which I just love so much. So I am going to use my Laura Mercier setting powder for this. I'm just going to pop this onto my face. Laura Mercier setting powder, the best. It was my first ever loose setting powder that I bought. It's just incredible. I personally have super, super oily skin, so setting powder is really important for me. I know a lot of people don't even use powder, but I have to, else I just couldn't do my makeup. While that is setting, I am going to go in and contour my face up, so I'm going to use my Benefits Hula Bronzer. This is one of my favourite bronzers. As you can see, I have actually hit a little bit of the pan now, and I'm just going to use a Dior contour brush. Because of how pale I am, this is really really what I need right now. I feel like we should also go quite warm toned on the eyes. I was going to go red on the eyes but now I kind of want to go like a dark brown with gold glitter maybe. As you can see that's just one cheek and one layer. It is literally incredible and I'm going to go and do the 
exacto on the other side of my face as well and then I also need to contour up my forehead because my forehead is looking quite pale as well and then I'm just going to take my brush I'm going to brush away all the powder and I'm actually going to pop some more on to bake my contour I just get some sponge on my powder and then I'm just going to draw a very light line just along here this isn't going to make it really sharp but just so it's kind of got a bit more of a clean finish it is eye time and I'm actually going to be using Saf's new palettes with Beauty Bay. I've got the Get Ready With Me palette here and the Love Affair palette but I'm actually going to be using the Get Ready With Me palette because I was going to use this one and go for a bit more of a red look and I know it is Christmas but I feel like I want to do more like brown smoky eye type look and I might even add some black and there's a black in this palette. I am going to start off with this shade in the corner here which is a very light chocolatey brown. This is such a pretty colour. I actually kind of looks like it has some orange undertones as well. I want to make sure the edges are super soft with this. I don't want it to be harsh at all. So even if you need to take a clean brush and just blend it all the way up, you can do that. I'm also going to bring it down onto my lid and drag it a little bit more into the inner corner as well. Just so this is the complete base colour. This colour is very much like an everyday colour. Like I feel like I could just pop this one colour on my eyes and it would almost look as though I've done an eye look. I'm going to go in and I'm going to start to really darken it up. So I'm going to use this brown here however I'm scared it's going to be super pigmented so we're going to really build this up and I'm just going to start to dab it on very very lightly and then go back in with more and just build the colour up just so I don't have a solid block of colour on my eye that I'm not able to blend. This is a really nice colour for your outer corner but I do want to really build the colour up so I'm just going to keep going in and adding more. And again I'm just going to drag this under my eye as well. You just use very light motions and just brush it about very lightly. It will give a really soft effect so I kind of want to go even darker with this and I kind of want to add a little bit of the black so literally I'm just going to tap my brush onto that black just so it's on there and then again very very lightly pack it on because that black is pigmented the black really just does make it a smoky eye which I love because I rarely ever wear black eyeshadow and then like I said I'm just going to drag this all along the lower lash line all of these shades that I've used on my eyes right now are matte so I want to go in and I want to actually add some glitter but I think I'm going to use the glitter from the Love Affair palette or do I use one from this palette actually? No I think I'm just going to stick with this one palette and I'm going to use this more gold toned one. This gold is definitely yellow toned and this one is brown toned and I want to go with the brown toned one. So I'm just going to pop my brush into this, really dig it in. I've got a lot of the glitter on there and I'm going to put this in my inner corner and just blend it a little bit onto the lid. This is such a pretty gold, oh my god. That is what I like to call a pigmented gold glitter eyeshadow. And just like that, my eyes are done. I love this palette so much. This is definitely more of a Christmassy going out type of look, but that is exactly what I wanted. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to add some lashes. These are from Unicorn Lashes. I will get the exact name and pop them on screen, but these are so pretty. They're quite sparse, so they have like thick bits and thin bits, but that is what I really like. I'm going to pop off camera and I'm going to pop these on and then we can finish the rest of my makeup lashes are on i now love what my eyes look like i think they look so pretty i'm literally rating this palette a 10 out of 10 this is a proper like winter christmasy smoky eye to me anyway i'm now just going to brush the powder off underneath my contour and then using the same brush i'm actually going to go in with blush so i'm using my jouer blush duo which is the rose gold one and i'm going to use a mixture of both of the shades now these really are pigmented so i don't put too much on but you just want to smile whilst you're doing it and then just pop it on the apples or roses of your cheeks whatever they're called now it is time to highlight which is one of my favorite ever parts thought I lost my brush. I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit which is literally wrecked because I use it that much and I'm going to be using a mixture of these three gold shades as I want to look more like golden. Literally just look at this glow as it develops. Honey. I then will add a little bit of the white highlight on top just to make sure that it is really glistening. Then I'm also going to pop this on at the end of my nose and on my cupid's bow. Now I really am glowing. I literally am living for this look. So I feel like I want to add some inner corner highlight as well. So I'm actually going to go in with the white shade and then a mixture of the gold. And I'm just going to pop this in my inner corner. And that is my makeup look. Now I need to go in with lips and I need to set my eyebrows. So to set my eyebrows, I'm going to be using my Benefits 
Benefits 3D Brow Tones. This is fab. When I went on a recent benefit trip, we were learning all about brows and stuff. And I just like to pop this on my eyebrows. This isn't like a setter or anything. It just kind of makes them look a little bit more fluffier at the front, which I really like. So I think for my lips, I'm gonna try something a little bit different and something that I haven't really done before. So watch me, this is where I fail. I'm gonna use my usual Too Faced Melted Matte in Child Star and I'm just gonna pop this all over my lips. As you can see, this is such a beautiful nude color. However, I kind of want to go in with this gloss on top. This is a Too Faced Melted Latex in the shade Bite Me. I feel like taking a risk today. If this fails, I'm sorry. And here is my finished makeup look. The lipstick is very different to what I would usually wear. It is more of a brown lipstick, but I like it. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this kind of like catfish makeup tutorial, Christmas, get ready with me. Whatever you want to call it. Let me know if you did by giving it a huge thumbs up and let me know if you want to see any other makeup tutorials, you know, just, just comment them down below. Make sure to go and check out Impress Nails, which I will leave a link for down below. And other than that, I love you all so much and I will see you very, very soon for a brand new video. Mwah. Bye!